What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dealer here, back at again with another Pokemon White 2 Random Action Nuzlocke. And today, we actually have the Plasma episode. Sorry for this episode being a day late. I've been focusing on a whole bunch of different things that I really shouldn't have been. So, anyway, let's get a team recap. And to get this show started, as we are going to go ahead and look at our Pokemon here, we've got Capson, level 36. With the Toxic Plate, with the Venoshock, Rolling Kick, Coil, and Fire Punch. We've got Blue, the Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, with Secret Sword, Meteor Mash, Wake Up Slap, and Mirror Shot. We got Dream, the Moltres, level 56, with Acid, Blue Flare, Fly, and Be Create. We got Kevin, the level 60 Milotic, with Night Slash, Water Spout, Surf, and Petal Dance. We got Beegers, the Silver... Winding, work upping, heal ordering, and extra sensorying Gardevoir. Um, with the Moo, that's it, with uh, Tinkerized his ability. We got Joy with Skull Bash, Blizzard, Haze, and Water Pulse as the team. So, yeah, we're gonna go get hit in this. It's gonna be a great day. I already can see it. We're gonna go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center. We got Route. 22 encounter and like I said the plasma episode this is going to be probably a four episode thing I can't wait to do the live finale of the series because you know me I'm a live finale guy and we are actually getting close to this it's kind of kind of wild to think about if you think about it right now it's like we're gonna have a live finale in the next week and a half or so it's like, whoa, 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 what happened to our time? Like, and I, I, this project has actually run uh, its course, I feel like. It's kind of done exactly what I wanted it to. Um, and I get to experience and hopefully beat a game I have never beaten before. So it's just, it's, it's fun in that way. Also, I feel like we get encounters, so... This is actually another encounter that I've yet to get, I believe. I might be wrong. So, actually, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to say that I did get this encounter, only because I may have totally done that. I just don't remember. Well, I think they let me walk under the bridge. Yeah! John remembering things. Let's go! So, Route 22 is actually super easy to get to. Here it is. And we're going to get our encounter over here. Let's turn on that dowsing machine. We want to get our potential of something good. Our encounter on route to 22 is going to die because I don't want this Pokemon. <laughs> it evolves via friendship. It's not going to be worth it. Um, I might as well just get the experience from it. So it will be rolling kicked into a... Wow, I missed. That's a way to start. <laughs> okay, that's a way to start the episode. Uh, exploding Igglybuff. You know what? I'm not mad. It killed itself before I got the chance to kill it. So, I'm not complaining. Um, Manaphy would have been a lot better of an encounter. <laughs> I would have taken Manaphy. Although, that is a water type that we probably would not have used. So, again... So again, I'm not going to complain about it because there really isn't a reason. There really isn't. Like, we've had a great... This has been, like I said, a great series. And I I can't say that enough. I've enjoyed every... Well, not necessarily every bit, but most of it. I can definitely say that much. I mean, this has been one of those series that have been real crazy. Like, a lot has happened... But it's been so spaced out. I, I kind of like that. How, like, nothing... It's not been, like, every episode's a tirade. But it also hasn't been none of them are tirades. So, like... Of course, I would like a little bit more action in my locks. But I will definitely take the win that we have here. Speaking of locks, we've got a Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock as our next series. I am actually making the layout for that as we speak. Um, it's 
like I'm gonna try and make it a better layout. I'm ter my biggest thing is I'm not the greatest when it comes to the logo. So we're gonna try and get a good logo. I like the logo that I made for the white two randomizers on this log. I'm not gonna lie. Um, like that to me is just aesthetically pleasing. I love the way that, that it's like zigzagged and all kind of within itself. That's a meganium that we can get like just eternal destruction with dream. But yeah, I love the way that it kind of plays into itself. So I kind of want to use that concept again, but more, I want it to stand out more like, and I want to add more gradients and I want to do a lot, just a lot of fun because it's a gen lock. And basically what that means is on my team, I'll only be able to utilize one Pokemon from every generation. So it's a new kind of, it's not necessarily a new thing. I'm sure it's actually come out, but that is what I want to do. And so if I can actually execute that in Pokemon Ultra Moon, that'll be great. And I'll be excited. So new project coming your way, new game. So I hope you both, or not you both, but I hope you all. Didn't know Terrakion was right there. Okay, that's news to me. That's a that's an encounter that we get. You learn something new every day, I guess. <laughs> um, do I feel like Epson's the right Pokemon to go into this? Probably not. I'm actually thinking that no. Oops, I tried to switch Joy. Um, I actually think that Joy is gonna be the optimal Pokemon. Right? Isn't that insane? I'm actually choosing Joy over anybody else on the team to handle this. But also, it's like, it's Joy's one of the lower levels. It's none other than Terrakion. Oh, no. I thought that that was like a speech, not from somebody. Oh, yikes. Uh, I, I got jipped out of that one. I thought... For sure, that was just, like, narrative. But it was not. Oops. Uh, oops. I don't know how to fix that. Power band. So I have to be careful, because I want to get that hidden item. But, yeah. Dang! I so thought, like I said, I so thought it was narrative. And it wasn't. But, you know what? I guess that's a great way to trick me. <laughs> Honestly, though. Like, I don't mind that. I don't mind when Game Freak does stuff like that. Um, just because it's kind of adds, it adds a fun element. It's like, was that actually text or was that narrative? Who knows? Ooh, a throw. Oh, why send out a throw when I have Joy out? It's literally because I have Joy out, isn't it? Literally the one moment I want to train up Joy, the game goes, um, are you sure about that? And I'm like, naturally. Um, Oh, I need to fill out my water bottle. Ah, I am out. Clearly. Completely out of water. Um, sky attack. Weird. Why? Why would you... I'm gonna fly because sky attack will miss. Which is beautiful. I'm still not gonna do much to throw. I think that's still not... Yeah. Rock smash. That's a fighting type move. That's gonna do two. Literally no damage at all, which, I mean, we take, not going to lie. And we're going to V-create the crap out of this thing. It will lower our speed, defenses and our speed, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be switching it out anyway. And I haven't really been using it, and so I don't know why I haven't, but I don't know. But we have a Quagsire coming out. Well, that's perfect. We can go ahead. We can go into Kevin because Kevin has Petal Dance. See, this is why grass types are important, and we don't have one, which is unfortunate. But we have a makeshift grass grass type and a choice scar or choice specs paddle dancing <laughs> thing. Like, honestly, Kevin has literally changed the complexity of the log. Like, it's been it's been it's been beautiful. Not gonna lie. To have Kevin just be like, yeah, I can handle this. This is why I love my lot. It gets bulky, it learns a lot of fun things. It's just amazing in general. I'm not even gonna worry about fighting that. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna worry about that. Because all I need to do is just get my hidden item. Oh, another choice band! Let's go! Oh, that was a worth it item, actually. And we're gonna go ahead and talk to Terrakion. And our legendary counter. 
Oh! I knew it was one of the Reggies, I just didn't know which one it was. That's crazy that I could tell by the music that it was a Reggie. Although, again, naturally we go into Joy, though, because, you know, not many legendaries are weak to water. Naturally. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, gonna go ahead and blizzard it. Maybe hopefully get a freeze. That'd be great. Okay, Joy. Ooh, whoa, that helps. That helps, that helps. That made your defense 1.5 times. That still doesn't, that's still not enough. Um... Do I have... I got Capson. I'm going to go into Capson. I might kill it. Oh, God. Uh, I don't want to kill it. That's my thing. It's like, I definitely want to make sure that I'm being safe. So I'm going to go ahead and Fire Punch. Because that's resisted. Non-stab. Holy shoot, that did nothing. Okay. You do have Rock Slide. Okay, I can Venice Shock you then. Okay, something that's resisted against Rock would be Blue. Blue Quad resists Rock. Ah! Because to my knowledge, I do not have anybody that can put anything to sleep. No. And it used Sandstorm, which Blue would not be affected by. Rock Slide, Blue would not be affected by. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to use one of my 39 Ultra We got a lot. So we have a lot to work with, and we can kind of see and gauge what's going on. Um, I believe, honestly, that our best bet is to stay in and scout for the ground-type move, which we're not seeing. Which, in theory, would mean you don't have it. Ah! Blue is such an important member to the team, though. Like... There's no replacement for blue. There, there straight up isn't. Um, do we? I mean, ah, uh, I'm gonna go into blue. I know there's no replacements for it. There's a lot more replacements for Kepson than there are for blue. But it did not show a ground type move. So I feel confident that it won't show a ground type move here. And Rock Slide will do like 20 damage. So it gives us more time to like assess the situation. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, you're rock sliding. That's the best thing you have. Good. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. A solid nine damagio. In comparison to, like, 50. It was a risky play. But, I mean, it didn't use it against Kepson. So, why would it not use it against... Or, why would it not use it against Kepson, but use it against Lucario? When it's... They're both weak to it. As we caught the Reggie Rock. Let's go! We'll take that. We like that. Um, We're gonna name this... After my boy, Reggie Reggie... Because I believe his mascot is actually Reggie Rock. So if you guys know Reggie Reggie, add him in the comments. Or add him on Twitter or wherever. Just tell him he got a Pokemon named after him in the Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. Bruh, I said it right. Let's go. See? He's my lucky charm. We got a timer ball. Literally, like, that didn't matter. But okay. Oh, these annoying stuffs again. Yeah, 
And they're gonna be Amoongus too, so. Woo! Amoongus. Ah, uh, okay. So we're gonna run away, because we can. And run ac run across. That's a fluffy tail. Okay, we'll take that. And we're about to have to go into a cave, which is something we all know John definitely likes a lot, a lot. Oh boy. The giant chasm. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm definitely nervous. What? Why? People are heading to Route 21? I thought that... Okay. As Purloin is our encounter. <laughs> what a way! We're not completely done with encounters, but what a way to wrap up a Team Plasma section by catching a purloin. That is just hilarious. Go figure. That is the way we're going to end. That was some awesome comedics right there. We're gonna, that's what we're going to name you. Comedics. Oh, that's freaking hilarious. Comedics is... How long does wait until everyone arrives mean exactly? The area past here is important. The people heading around 21 are definitely important. But we have to have important role as well. Okay. Like I said, I don't understand that. Do I have to go back to Route 21 then? And I just wasn't reading, which sounds about right. <laughs> Let's be fair. Um... Yeah, that's the only option we got, I guess. So, yes. Darn. Even if I'm the furthest away, she's still going to fight you. Um, Good to know. Didn't know that, but that is good to know. Um, So, I guess we got to go back to route, one, route 21, which is... Is that the water route? Dang, she's got a level 54 pincer. She ain't playing. Um, I think it's the water route, if I'm not mistaken. But that seems like a very awkward place to to jet me off. It's like, go to Route 22, investigate the plasma guys. Then go back to Route 21. Probably helping Aaron out with something. Not, not gonna lie, that's probably what this game makes you do. It just does seem a little off to do it in that order. Like, if it were going to have me do it in that order, why wouldn't it just have me do that first and then go talk to Polaris? It's like, backtrack to then go forward instead of go forward to backtrack to go forward. It's, to me, it's weird. Oh, Roserade's dying. Um, I don't know. Let me know if that's how you feel about that, but that's how I feel. Like, why would you make us go forward to go back to go forward? Oh, that's good. That actually did way more damage. Don't hear yourself in confusion, please. Just go. Um, okay. Ow! Roserade, hello? Wow, Roserade. Just truly out here, aren't you? Almost a one-shot freaking dream. With acid of all moves. <laughs> and then you use... What the... You, then you use Petal Dance.
The gear was ready. Oh my god, you lived on like the slimmest bit of health. If you freaking dare crit me. Okay, you're locked into pedal dance. I forgot Meteor Mash can miss. I forgot me. I... That was my bad. I forgot that. And I'm mad. Because I straight up forgot Meteor Mash could miss. That's unfortunate. But it is 100% my fault, and I have to own up to that. Um. I think it's 90% accurate, too. So that was only a 10% chance of ha happening. It's either 90 or 95. I want to say it's 90. That's upsetting. But yeah, it was 100% my fault. Oh, it was, it's 85 in this game. So... That's unfortunate. That was a great Mon. And now we've lost some coverage. Which is also quite a big thing. But, yeah. Like I said, we couldn't... There was nothing we could do, but... Other than heal and be smart about it. But, again, that was 100% my bad for thinking Meteor Mash didn't miss. I am, I'm, yeah, I am definitely upset with myself with that. Does Lucario have an item? This is a great place to leave it off, too. But we got to figure out a team companion, too. To add to the squad. Does Lucario have an item? Lucario does not have an item. Lucario can just go straight to the box. Perfect. Okay. So time to find what Pokemon to add to the squad. Um, we got a lot of interesting Pokemon, to be honest. Um... I honestly don't know who to add. I think Purloin might not be bad because that'd be a Lyford. Mock or uh, Thames wouldn't be bad either because that's a that is a fighting type, so that gives us that accessibility to take dark types, which because we can't really do that right now. Um, that's. Not good. Cheyenne. Not going to work for the team. Ice Flying. Not going to work for what's going on on the team. Duosion. Not going to work for what's going on. Not, not going to work. Fissure. Mudslap. Dig and Mudshot. Not going to work. Needle Arm. Grass. Not, not going to really work. Dude, this boy had Explosion and never utilized it. That's crazy. I'm ha That's insane that he didn't utilize it, but I'm happy he didn't. Soft boiled, comet punch, charge, and quash. Oh, they none of these have good moves. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Makita. Thames. Thames is gonna be added to the team. That's a thick fighting type. We're training our entire team up to level four, 58 anyway. Because we need to. It's time. So we're gonna have to start having some of these important, massive, big battles. Um so yeah, Thames will be added to the team. Uh, you'll see him on the layout tomorrow's episode. Ugh. So we have to go to Route 21, which I don't know where it is. It's like the people on Route 21 are also important. Is this... Like, I'm so lost right now. So 
See, it gives me no indication. So it's like, what? Wait. What am I supposed to do with no indication? Will it switch over to 21? No. What the frick? We gotta... I gotta see. I gotta know where Route 21 is because... I am... See? We're on it. What? The people on Route 21 are important also. What people on Route 21? There's literally nobody. Because that's the cave. What the heck? I gotta just, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going and then we'll wrap up today's episode, but. I feel like it's such an obvious thing that I'm missing. But like. I'm still so... It doesn't defeat the fact that I'm lost. Um, Route 21. That was a weird room to walk into. I love that the water in Humali City is just really nice. Nope, can't go under the bridge. What the? What the actual heck? Oh wait, 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 wait! Can I? Will that lead me to Route 21 still, though? Like, that seems very odd. Nope, can't walk under the bridge. What in the world am I supposed to be doing? Yay, pointless items. Um. Yeah, no, I am so lost. I should not be lost. There should be no way that I get lost. Iron ball, that's nothing. Doesn't let you surf out the boundaries here. What the heck? I am so missing something, and it's gonna drive me nuts. But I guess we're going to have to find out what that is in another episode. <laughs> because, yeah, it's going to drive me nuts. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.